So hey y'all, this video is going to be on <laughs> the Tribe Palette by Juvia's. Um, have y'all? I know everybody's seen it, but my subscribers really wanted me to do a video on it. So here we go. It is simply stunning. I am at a loss for words on where I'm going to begin. I swatched these y'all, and they are beautiful. <sighs> okay, so it's so cool how she does her stuff. You could get a plain little everyday neutral look out of here, or you can glam it up. This, these shimmers. This is deceptive. This shade called Koro, Koro, K O R O. That is like a lime green, yellow kind of. Ugh. And this shade called Kuba. That jewel tone, mm, mm, mm. y'all know I'm not good on swatch, <gasps> but you can tell from there. So yeah, we, uh, I don't even know what look I want to do, but I'm also going to include, include a little more of how I prime my face because I've been getting questions on that a lot. Um, so this is going to be the eye look and basically what I use to prime my face. So I always start off when I clean my face and everything, I go in with the hydrating um, primer. Sometimes I use this Tatcha the water cream, I have a sample, couple samples of those, and I've been really liking that. But I really also been liking the NYX Hydra Touch Primer, and that's what I'm gonna start off with today because we're gonna use the NYX the Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. I've been really liking that foundation, um, especially for my everyday. But it can, I don't know, it just re wears extremely well, especially if you are oily. And I am gonna use the Can't Stop Won't Stop. Um, Primer as well, mattifying primer. I try to get the go in and try to find the um, can't stop, won't stop concealer, but it is unavailable or it was just sold out. I just I haven't been able to get my hands on it. I'm looking for my lip gloss stuff so I can moisturize my lips. But yeah, <clears throat> let me find that and then when I come back, my eyes and stuff will be prepped and we're going to go ahead and get the look done. And as I do primers for my face, I'm definitely going to come back on and let you guys see those products, okay? So something so I also like to put on after I finish um, hydrating my face is I have this um, Needles No More, No More Baggage from Dr. Brandt. As you can tell, they aren't as fat as they used to be but baby we still go in with this and this does help with my puffiness under the eye okay y'all we're gonna start off with the lighter green masa m-a-a-s-a-i and we're just gonna fluff that lightly lightly <laughs> okay that's really pigmented <laughs> I was gonna be lightly. Yeah, you you don't have to do a lot of work for that one. I'm going. I'm keeping this shade a little bit above the crease right now. Yeah, that lightly. Mm -hmm. I'm not tape all the way down here, y'all. <laughs> um, might as well. Let's go for two C, Tootsie, two set, Tootsie. Let's see. Starting off. I say lightly, once again. So I'll have to open up my eye just to make sure I'm getting it in the crease area. Y'all, these shades are beautiful. I certainly hope. This little has a little hint of blue in it. Yeah, you can tell that this one has a little bit of a blue base in it. Not much, but it's going to be pretty on the melanin skin for sure. For oh, sure. The M433, and we're going to pick up sand right here. I'm going to use that to really kind of deepen. Ooh, girl. God, yes. I am here for this. That's pretty. And I'm just going to make sure to kind of keep the outer V area really concentrated and then just blend a little bit of the shade over into the crease area. Cut. 
Come on here. Come on here. That's pretty. So next I'm gonna pick up Kuba. I'm not gonna use this today as my main shade. I'm just gonna put a little of it back towards the uh, green shade. Just, you know, just to add it in there before we go in with our lid shade. I just thought it would add a pretty little dimension between that and our lid shade. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, just keeping it really on the matted green part. Just to add, you know, just a little something different. Okay. Let's blend out the top of it. I'm sure that makes sense. Have you ever needed someone so bad? But he was making love. Sometimes you can lose to mm. Wait, for some reason it didn't record. I hope it did. I used uh, K-O-R-O. -O. Let me just go ahead and do the other side just in case it messed up. And I'm just, just, I am just using this straight dry, y'all. On top of the cut, on top of the concealer. So no wetting of the brush for me on Juvia's place. Just because, you know, my eyes be doing the most. Okay. So I'm not sure if it recorded for me last time, but just want to make sure those two shades are blended well. I think mm -hmm. this is the perfect eyeliner to use. This is from Fenty Beauty, that little green one that they came out with. What is the name? Uh, Eclipse? Uh, it has green. But 
you know, it really comes off black. But I think once you let it dry, you can kind of turn it into like a little shimmer or something. Let's move that out just a little bit. So something I've been really liking to do, I have been using this blue from the Makeup Shayla Big Shot Colossal Big Shot one as my eyeshadow. I mean, my eyelash um, mascara. And I don't know, I've been liking it. You know, you can't really see what it does. I just think it provides a really pretty, you know, I just got some on my contact lens. So y'all hold up one second. I'm gonna have to get that off. Best, especially on my bottom lashes. Yeah, I've really been liking that. I think this is a great combo. So too. while I wait on my lashes to dry, we did have a little bit of fallout, but no nothing extreme. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go in with the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. And for this particular primer, because it is so thick, I just dab it on. Especially in places where I know I get oily. Because when I say this stuff I almost acts as a barrier. <laughs> Woo! It's for real. It's for real, for real. <laughs> you ain't you don't want nothing to happen. <laughs> it ain't letting nothing through. <laughs> like, nope, and not today. At this step I will go in with a blurring primer. Um normally I use my Tarte shape, but today I mean not Tarte shape, I use a one from Tarte. But today I'm gonna to use the Cover FX Blurring Primer. I have a sample, I have a lot of it. So I'm just gonna use that today. I don't have any plans. I'm really going in the worst. It's a good day to test this primer as well to see. That's what it's. See if it really does a good job. Uh, mm, okay. So something like this, I always try to say. Just kind of make sure you smooth it into the pressure into where your problem area is. My nose, forehead, a little bit on my chin. Mm -hmm. We'll see, you know, it looks like it might be okay. So now that that's down, you guys know I like to go in with the Melanie Mills um, Lean Body Radiance. And this is in the rose gold shade. I just kind of like to use this as my interglow. And to kind of even out my skin tone. Just a little bit. Now, you don't have to do this part. It's just something that I like to do, especially up underneath my foundation. To kind of give it that glow without the oily look <laughs> for somebody who's oily. You know what I'm saying? So, yep. That's that. You might not have this issue, but um, I do color correct, as you guys know. So, this is the Lancome Color Corrector in Peach. And I've really been liking the consistency. I have a couple shades, different shades from them that I've been testing. And uh, this may be the one I'll pick up because it does help me with this under eye situation that I have going on. And it does kind of help. I don't have a lot of hyperpigmentation in my skin like I used to. So I just kind of heat up the little areas that I kind of want to have a little more coverage on mustache area especially <laughs> so y'all i really been liking this lancome long time no shine translucent loose setting and mattifying primer because i did put a kevin aquan under my eye because i need a little more power y'all and that kevin aquan what's that what's it called the kevin kevin aquan the sensual skin enhancer um concealer in sx12 yeah, if I need feel like I need a little more oomph up under my eye, that is what I would go in with. So that's all I did today. And so since it is a little creamier, 
I'm gonna use this Lancome one up underneath um, this the, this loose setting powder up underneath there just to make sure it sits and pretty darn good. And it wasn't that much, it wasn't too, too highlighty. So yeah, this will help it kind of stay that way. Okay, so uh, I forgot that there was a person that wanted to see my under eye done. And I just used the Marc Jacobs, um, you guys know my favorite gel liner in our inner rim that. And then I took the shade Sand and I just kind of followed along from inner to outer corner. And then I took the shade O R A M. Is that an A, honey? Or a Aromo? The oranges that's in here. This orange right here, the matte orange, which is pretty. And I didn't get to use it up top, so I'm just going to use it down here to kind of blend out our green shade. It's not going to be a lot. I'm just going to add a hint of a color, which I thought was kind of pretty. So I went a little bit overboard, so catch that and fix it yeah so just taking those two shades and kind of making sure we keep this close to the lash line on the blend but I do make sure that I connect it up here make sure that that's connected out that way alrighty so you guys this is the final look for me today I really like how everything turned out and we just went in all with um, whatever Juvia's Place had, I just went ahead and used it. On the lip today, I'm using her liquid lipstick. Um, this is the shade Soul, S-O-I-L. That's what's on my lips today. Hold on, y'all. I see a little crack a <laughs> Okay. Much better. Yep. That's what's on my lips today. Highlight, of course, is Juvia's Place as well. Um, in the Nubia. The Nubian uh, loose highlighter, Nubia. I think that's how I think that's how it goes. So yeah, so this can actually be blinged up a whole lot more. I did it over the weekend. So if you spray your face and then go in and let it kind of dry a little bit and then go on top with these uh with this highlighter, chair. Yes, pretty. Um, what else? Oh, blush. I use Juvia's Place as well. This is the shade, the single one, Bella. I love this shade. It is it's it's not as bright as you would think, but it pairs well on our um on our melanin skin. And what else? I think that's it for Juvia's Place. Yeah. So let's talk about the palette. I think this is one of her best that she's done in a while just the um, colors and the pigmentation and these are just i don't know they remind me of like her just look how i just did just swirl my finger in it there is no patchiness in that and, you know i don't want to waste it so we'll put a little bit on that eye. but there's no patchiness in that and that's what i love about juvia's place mattes um because they just perform really well we are in, we we all know that the shimmers are the bomb and when i say this shade oh so pretty that coral shade yeah we're gonna use her again <laughs> pretty soon i really liked how hold on i kind of messed up kind of just really liked how that um played on the eyes i love this as the crease shade i did um i just love this palette we're gonna do another look with this maybe tomorrow something with the oranges and you know kind of show you how you can keep this kind of fun and neutral and you know you can get a lot of looks out of this especially let's see with this brown yeah that's like a greenish mossy type brown i don't know how that would play on my eye but you never know we might be able to come up we might be able to come up with something but yeah so you guys until the next time let me know what you think of the look um do you guys want to see another look with this palette just let me know in the comment section let me know so i can get it filmed and up for you guys and until the next time i'll see y'all on the next turn thanks you too bye-bye